What's good boys? Hope you guys are having a good day. So today I'm doing that new tutorial that I promised you guys I would do in the last video, in which case I'm gonna show you guys how to sample yourself in the fruity slicer, which is again just another part of my melody sauce series. And it's another way to switch up your melodies and make them even doper than you think you can make them. So it's gonna be pretty lit. Uh, just a heads up, this could be my last video using my like computer default face cam thingy. I got a new camera, something special, but it's gonna up the quality a little bit. Uh, so that'll be good, and I'll be able to fix the lighting once I get back to school, which is gonna be in the next week. So yeah, even though I'll be at school, I'll still try to pump out as many, you know, it's college, it's some free time. I'll try to pump out as many videos as I can for you guys. Again, if you like the video, comment, like, and subscribe. Subscribing would be dope. And yeah. Yeah, let's get right into it all right guys so before we get into really working with the fruity slicer showing you guys how to sample yourself let's just make a quick a quick sample so I uh, got this bell here from Omnisphere uh, typically for this I like bells that have a little bit more attack at least in the beginning before I end up turning it down uh, but yeah, this is gonna be super simple similar to the last tutorial I put out which was showing you guys how to make melodies like Q-beats but yeah, let's just uh, get right into it. So a quick initial tip is I'm just gonna go to these helpers, go to scale highlighting. Uh, you know what, I'll actually keep it on E and minor because for this kind of uh, melody that I'm about to show you guys, for this kind of sample, of course you can do whatever you want. I like to do kind of darker stuff. So we're gonna be using the Aeolian scale, the minor scale, which is gonna be more darky, dark kind of creepy stuff. So let me just put in some chords. Also, guys, you might think like, uh, you know, want to know like how I just like did that real quick. And the question, the key is sort of like an easy way to do chords is to, you know, once you've done the, the helper and you got scale highlighting here, you see all these lighter spots that's going to be in key. And so a quick way to do chords is you just skip one, go to the next one, skip one, go to the next one. That's a simple chord, but you know, after you've been making beats for a lot and you've sort of done it like that you kind of want to make it more interesting and so I just kind of play around so I was like alright let me just put this up one put this up one you got a whole new sound and then for this next chord I was like alright so I just kind of switched this one up now why don't I bring this one back to normal so I'm gonna go up one uh, sorry skip one up here skip one up here and then oh I want to put a root note on it so it's not just I kind of want to put a bass note on it. See if this sounds good. And see, it fills it out right there. That's just kind of a simple uh, kind of tip on how to construct your chords. And then we're basically going to do the same thing that the same kind of cons chord construction here, over here, but with a new root note. So let's take C, for example. And, and if this sounds good, I'll just, I'll just roll with it. Let's do the same thing. So instead of going up two, I'm going to go up three and then up two. All right, right there. And then I, I don't know, I can just, I hear it and I say, oh, I kind of want this to repeat here, so. Then let's copy that over. Real simple, there, we got our chords right there. And to make it more interesting again, I'm gonna put a little top line on so we can kind of figure that out together, so. Simple line. I'm just going to copy and paste that over to here. All right. Simple and easy. So then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just clone this. I'm going to do the same exact sound. And to make it a little fuller, I am going to, instead of making a complete new sound, I'm going to just put this one in the mixer. And I did the same kind of thing. Uh, in my previous video, I'm just going to go to gross B real quick, super simple, half time it, get a new pattern going over here, and copy and paste this right onto here. And then let's solo it by itself and see what it sounds like. 
that's going to fill it out. And then I might want to drop this an octave, which I just command A and then con sorry, control A and then control page down. And then see what that sounds like. Well, that's a little low, so I'm going to just bring it back up. Okay, and before we get any farther, I kind of want to uh, put just a few little effects in EQ on it. So for this one, uh, it's a little too like sharp for me, too much attack, and so I kind of want to make it a little bit softer. So I'm going to put a fruity chorus. I like to put a fruity chorus in this fat clean preset every once in a while. This is just a stock plugin. It's a cool thing you can use. And then I'm uh, put a fruity parametric CQ2, go to this preset, 40 hertz by 18 hertz cut, and then just cut it to where I like it. You know, getting rid of this high allows when you actually get into the melody for the hi-hat to come through and the upper level of the claps. Uh, I don't know if the claps are more in the mid, but uh, it gets rid of that really sharp screeching sound. So I'm going to do the same thing over here for the this second one and put an EQ on it. Alright, and so we got this. Alright, so I'm going to bounce it out real quick, put it into a WAV file, and then I'll, uh, I'll be back. Alright guys, so I got this loop right here. I'm going to just normalize it, and turn it down a bit. So basically I created this sample right here, and what's going to be cool about this video is I'm going to show you guys how to then sample yourself so pretend this you know that's my own loop like we just made it so then i'm just going to open up the fruity slicer right here i'm going to open up a pattern and then i'm going to take this sample and drag it right in uh right into the fruity uh slicer and it'll sort of show up here first thing we got to do click right here click beat and it's going to separate each little note that you get in your uh, piano roll heel here by a beat in the sample that you got. And then you got a bunch of different tools over here. So first off, that's what it sounds like. And you can kind of hear some clicking. And that's going to happen a lot when you, when you sample on the Fruity Slicer. Click, de-click here. And then you can figure out, you can sort of experiment with these two buttons. Sometimes I like to have them on, sometimes I don't. It doesn't really make much of a difference in my mind. I'm not, you know extremely well versed in in the fruity slicer i'm trying to learn more but uh i can sort of show you the gist of what's going to happen and so then you got four knobs here this one's going to pitch it this one bends i sometimes use this but i'll show you sort of show you what it does so this one just pushing it up pushing it down kind of cuts it short or stretches the uh the each beat sample and then the pitch obviously Pitch it down. I like to play with that after a little bit, but you can already tell this is a cool sample, but we're going to make it even cooler. And then the decay, put that all the way up. Attack all the way up. Might be counterintuitive, tack all the way up means there's going to be less attack. So what I like to do is just turn the attack up a little bit on almost every time when I sample myself. And it's going to make it sound a little bit more sample like a little cooler i think when i think when the sample has too much attack like this i just don't think it sounds very good And this it sounds too much just like you know omnisphere presets on the piano roll and you want to kind of make your your abilities a little bit more unique this also helps get a rit get rid of the uh, clicking sound too all right so i'm just gonna do this for now i like the sound of that so i'm gonna go into here i'm gonna control a and then control delete to get rid of all that and i'm gonna sort of make a little pattern all right so i kind of like this i think i'm going to push it up here uh yeah like there and this is what i got and i'm gonna just copy that over and already this sounds super sick i can already picture a sick beat going to it and we're not even done yet So 
what we're going to do from here is we're going to bounce it the second to last time. All right, guys. So I just bounced uh, this loop again. I'm going to go back. We're going to normalize it. Um, and I'm not even going to switch up the pitch here yet. We're just going to put it now into the uh, mixer here. And we're just going to add two effects that I, I showed you guys in the last one. One is going to be unstable. I'm going to just bump this up a little bit. It's going to make it seem a little bit off pitch and then we're going to put in, these are my, f I freaking love these, they're all free, you guys need to get them, they make your melody so much sicker, I'm going to put it up to like 1990 I think. Bump that up a little bit. Just, I just want to be really subtle on this. Some tiny, tiny stuff. All right, and then we're going to bounce this one last time. And so I'll get back to you once I uh, export this. All right, guys, this is the final loop here. Video loop three. I'm going to normalize it again. And then this is where I'm going to pitch it. So I'm gonna just go over here, right click, make unique. I got these two uh, samples now. And so I'm just going, I got this one. And I'm gonna pitch it down just a little bit. Let's see what this sounds like. Pitch it down 200 cent and then go over to this one and pitch it up a thousand. And then that's going to be an Octavire. And so guys, right there, I got my, uh, I got the sample that we just made sampling ourselves using the Fruity Slicer, using some techniques that I showed you guys. You can see the process right here, all the way down. Super simple, super quick, and makes your melodies sound pretty sick. So yeah, so I guess, uh, I don't think I'm going to make a melody with this one because, uh, sorry, I don't think I'm going to make a beat with this one like I did in the last video because I actually think this is a pretty sick melody. I really like it. So I'm going to sort of, I guess, announce, not really because you guys probably don't care that much, but uh, sort of say I'm, I'm I kind of mentioned it earlier, I'm going to, I'm making a loop kit right now. It's going to be between 20 to 30 melodies. I've done like eight so far. Um, I think I actually might include this in, in as one of the melodies it's pretty sick i like what i did so i'm not gonna make a beat out of it that's gonna be for you guys if you get it i'm not gonna i'll let you know when i drop the loop kit i'm not gonna drop it i need i want to get you know a little bit more subscribers more people that'll actually buy it if you think you'd buy it if you like my melodies comment below let me know email me be like yo follow me on twitter tweet me be like yo I'm, i'd buy your shit and i'd be like sick <laughs> um i might do it at 500 I might do it at 600. I'll do it when I think I can get more than 10 people to buy it because I want to do a competition with it in which the winner gets $50. So I need to make more than $50 on it so I don't lose $50 even though I want to do a competition so bad. I think it'd be sick with my loops. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned a lot. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>